Hi, this is Lorraine and I'm doing another video. Um, this uh, is kind of sudden. It came to me last night and uh, it was the message was very urgent. It happened last night and um, this is the first opportunity I've gotten to like just sit and record what came. So I'm just going to take a moment to clear center and balance my energy and then I'm going to start. Um, so last night I was watching Cosmic Disclosure because I've been behind. I haven't been watching TV lately. Um, and so I just started watching a, a few episodes and it was, um, I wrote it down so I had it. Uh, season 11, episode 6. So it's a kind of a tribute to William Tompkins who was an uh, integral part of um, I don't want to say the secret space program so much as the research behind the secret space program and um, some of the um, equipment, ships or whatever that was manifested or created was inspired by him. I don't know if he is, uh, I don't know if I would call him a creator of the politics behind the secret space program. He's more a nuts and bolts kind of guy. Um, and I really enjoy watching him be interviewed. Um, he's passed, he passed in 2017, but I really enjoy listening to him talk. Uh, you can tell by his vocabulary and how he speaks, um, his, the generation he came from, his language. You can s hear the sincerity and the honesty in his voice and how he articulates if you can tune into that. Um, he's another person I don't question what he says just by the intuitive knowing, um, just by reading the energy. But mostly, uh, uh, it wasn't necessarily his words, it was his friend, Robert, Dr. Robert Wood, who edited his book, um, his second book, I believe, and I don't have the title, I'll put all this stuff in the description, um, but he was talking about, uh, in I believe in 1949, he said he was working on his PhD, this is Dr. Wood, and one of his professors wrote an article for Scientific American about um, these huge uh, burrowing machines that could, I think the comment was, uh, create tunnels from New York City to uh, the West Coast, right, or vice versa. And he said that was the first and the last time he had read anything about these machines. And now we hear about it in the sp secret space program, how they use these machines to create these huge tunnels, um, which eventually created this underground rail system. So as soon as he started talking about the underground rail system, an energy I call that called themselves friend that uh, I communicated telepathically with in a video and I'll put that in the description came through and it was extremely upsetting for me to have this communication um, just because of the first topic that was brought up and um, I'm just gonna read so this was last night um, while I was reading watching the Cosmic Disclosure episode and when Dr. Wood was talking about this topic, as soon as he brought up the burrowing machine, the energy friend, who is a reptilian energy from the inner earth, they're not Alpha Draco, they were part of the original um, dinosaurs that were um, here on Earth millions of years ago, the raptors, and they have evolved. So when Earth was supposed to, was destroyed and all the dinosaurs um, went extinct, this these beings actually went into the inner Earth and survived, and now they are still present. Uh, I don't know, 65 million years later, I'm not sure. Don't quote me. Um, um, Archaeology is not my expertise, but um, they've been around a long time. They have evolved, very intelligent. But I did talk about them in a previous video and I'll put the link in the description. But they immediately came through when they were talking about the tunnels. And this is what this energy said.
underground rail system has been used to move the children. The friends, the raptors, at first had tried to help some of the children, but could not continue to intervene. The children that were liberated were placed with humanoid inner earth beings. They are still there. Friend, this reptilian race, I'm, I call them friend because that's how they identify themselves as friend. Friend, reptilian, are about, are about the units of a world, the structure, uh, the compartmentalization, and the reconciliation of these units as community and civilization, meaning the family unit, the community unit, um, the judicial, all the structures within a society, each part of it, and then reconciling those parts. Um, it's very important in their civilization, this idea of the family and how it relates to the community and how it relates to the larger community and how all these parts in, uh, integrate uh, together and create their civilization. Their, um, this goes to their territoriality and how they live. And this is just like the, uh, in the past I've talked about this, just like the uh, mantis beings are very, the DNA, science, that is their area of expertise as a being in the universe. Um, the reptiles as a whole are all about compartmentalization of um, civilization and the parts of civilization and then reconciling all those parts together successfully in creating um, a functional healthy community culture civilization okay um, so friend reptilian are about the units of a world the structure compartmentalization and reconciliation of these units as community and civilization they found the harm coming to these children confusing and chose to intervene they're talking about the children that are used for their um, Adrenaline, adrenal, adrenal chrome, is that what they call it? And what they do to these children is horrific. It's horrific. They found the harm coming to these children confusing and chose to intervene, but then quickly realized this was part of humanity's karmic circle. They saw their own children in the eyes of our children. They mourn for our children. Witnessing this put our friends in a hypervigilant military posture as we move through this phase in our transcendence. Friend says some of the children were so traumatized they were fearful to go even with the humanoids. There will be a time There will be a time He will take me to them They enjoy the calming spaces and calming sounds These are the darks the dark kind of cavern-like areas I talked about in the last video. They are disassociating from humanity and require much healing. Only the most balanced energy will be allowed near them. You will be invited. They're, they're going to invite me. We will survive. We see the goodness in so many hearts. We have also seen profound darkness. Do not approach. Lorene, we will let you know when it is time to come. 
they await the earthly angel that will come they await the earthly angel that will come to collect them and take them home they trust us we trust you only you make this clear to your people do not approach and so the friend i call them friend they showed me the the swirl and it's uh the heart of tafiti if you saw moana so taka is the dark energy because her heart's been stolen the heart of tafiti tafiti was stolen by maui and so at the end moana brings her back her heart um, and then she goes from darkness to light and becomes the creator mother once again so they showed me that swirl the Fibonacci spiral you could uh, call it the golden mean the golden ratio and then I hear cycles occurring they are coming we will not yield sorry we will not show mercy your children are protected this negative polarity are desperate they are coming into the inner earth this is not your place their rule was temporary they are no longer the controlling faction in space or on earth they are scrambling they are coming in your military must not follow there will be many casualties they must access technology to see into the earth do not follow we will not discern between the surface dwellers coming into the earth at this time stay out the children are safe we have cared for them we will not stop we will call you when the time is right to come and get them you will receive instructions for initial contact with the new government of upper earth when appropriate do not entertain fear trust but do not come to inner earth at this time you have been warned sorry the this cabal energy is no longer in control. They don't have the moon anymore. They don't have the earth anymore. All that's going on on earth is posturing to give them the opportunity to scramble and leave. Some of them have already been captured. They're gonna start the tribunal soon. Um, but the ones that are able to get into inner, inner earth are going to inner earth. Don't try to follow them, to capture them, to take them to the tribunals. Let them go. Do not sacrifice any of our soldiers, our warriors to chase after them. Use ground penetrating radar, whatever you have to track them if you want, but don't go into the earth because if they go, if you go, or this cabal energy goes anywhere near these raptors where their territory their area or even on the fringes they will attack without prejudice they will annihilate the they don't show me images but carnage comes up a ripping tearing um, uh, the size the speed the agility 
the uh, weaponry that they have, just physically what they can do, much less weaponry um, technology, there is no chance. Uh, don't even, we don't even want to create a, any kind of discord with them. Let the cabal face them alone. Let them deal with that negative polarity for us. When Mother Earth transcends, this negative polarity will not be able to stay on Earth. Universal law says if your vibration does not match that of Mother Earth, you can't stay here. They will be, they will leave this Earth one way or another. Um, but they cannot stay here. They physically cannot tolerate the energetic vibration. Um, you know, uh, so I'm just going to say that, but don't send anybody into the earth after them. Don't do that. Right now, during this transition, this, these raptors, the front, our friends who they can be great allies, um, will not tolerate anything coming into their space because the potential if anybody gets into their space is could be devastating to their children look what they've done to our children this cabal energy look what they've done to our children these um, raptors these are friends they will not allow any harm to come to their people uh, they're very territorial they have an incredible integrity so if you stay outside their space they will not bother you they will not come into our space but if you even touch the edge come anywhere near it they will attack they will take out anybody who is even the marginally a threat anybody coming in that space is a threat and so this message came through so strong they're like you need to say this right now they're like you cannot wait till the weekend it needs to come out right now you need to do it right now so <sighs> things are heating up And so then they started showing me the children, our children. I see the children safe. They stay in the dark caves. It provides a safe meditative state or mindset. It is where the youngest are kept. Human children are fragile and can be easily hurt playing even with their young adolescents. They have a special lighted area with, uh, with like a, a swimming hole and a lot of vegetation that they can go out and play in. No indigenous beings, raptors, or animals because the small children are too vulnerable. Um, they're just fragile physically, meaning they can get hurt easily. And, um, you know, like a puppy with a baby, you know, they're just get become rambunctious and you know someone will get hurt unintentionally so they have a special lighted area with uh, like a swimming hole and a lot of vegetation that they can go out and play in no indigenous beings raptors or animals because the small children are too vulnerable they simulated playground type structures to play and social settings for the older kids so the, the feeling is they've been there for a while. So some of the kids have grown and grown up there. And so they've moved to being young children now to being more tween or teens. And so they've created social areas for them to interact. Uh, food is vegetarian, high in nutrients, no other I think they said, the feeling was um, the kids eat vegetarian because they wouldn't really care too much for the meat that they eat, the, the raptors eat. Um, no other inner earth beings socialize with our kids. The raptors, friends, keep to themselves unless the situation calls for diplomacy. 
so the raptors um they don't socialize with the other inner earth beings unless there's uh some kind of diplomatic relations have to take place the return of the children will be symbol will symbolize a transition in our relationship with my friend the raptors um and so um energy the flow of energy so the best thing you can do to clear center and balance your energy um stay positive have faith and trust in our divine creator in god stay positive i'm in such a good position right now i have so many wonderful people around me even though the sky seems like it's falling but it's not falling on me. It's falling on other people who are running in, in, in fear of many different things. But I feel blessed. I have so many wonderful people around me during this time of craziness. I feel incredibly blessed. Um, and I try to, I work very diligent to maintain clear centered balance energy and a very positive perspective. I work diligently to release the negative energy I released the personal attacks because I support law enforcement and I've been called names I've been called a racist I have a lot of good friends I've known for 40 years who are in law, law enforcement who retired and good good people who are being attacked unjustifiably and I've been called a racist a full-blooded Puerto Rican called a racist Puerto Ricans are African, Spanish, and Taino Indian blood, three different races. Um, and I just always love and support the people around me. I don't let the people who are attacking me get to me. And I, and that's the most important thing. I don't let someone else's opinions define me. I don't let someone else someone else's beliefs, someone else's anger and bitterness, resentment and fear, I don't let that project onto me and I don't let them uh, define me by those things. Um, and I focus on the positive things in my life. Uh, I Every night I write down my worries, all the things I worry about. I put them in this book, I put them on a piece of paper, I write them down, I rip them up and then I release them for my angels to transmute into positive um anything positive please i ask please release these negative uh thoughts or energies or attachments um or feelings that i have please release them and transmute them into something positive i say my affirmations every night um i have now i have now i think i have 70 i added to yesterday today so i'll read 69 i will maintain i had 68 i'm going to read the last two i just added i will maintain the balance needed to reconcile the world within this world unifying the cultures that comprise and create the diversity of mother earth and number 70 i will fulfill my obligation to this world i will be a unifying force creating a unifying field so those are the two new ones i've added since uh, last night um, so I affirm 70 affirmations I say every night things I want to bring into my life and then I express my gratitudes the things that I am thankful that I have in my life and I always am grateful for my father who's 94 and I adore him I've always adored him from birth I love my dad I'm a total daddy's girl I say thank you for my children because they teach me every day I say thank you for my home I bike bus and walk everywhere so I'm always thankful for my bike um, as hot as it's been I'm always thankful for the weather because I enjoy the weather in Seattle whether it's raining or sunny um, thank you for the calm I thank you for the calm in the middle of the storm of this life that's happening right now um, thank you for my job I really enjoy my job that I do during the day um, Thank you for the water. I was sitting out having lunch having a, and I had a beautiful view of the water today. Um, thank you for the messages of love and light. Thank you for your love and support. So I always 
express gratitude for the things I have. And this is my discipline every day or every night. Um, and it helps me to have perspective. So um, I think I'm going to stop. But I think the most important thing is that first message. That was the most important thing. We need to stay out of inner earth right now. Do not go anywhere near the raptors. Um, they are not going to discern between the cabal or um, other surface dwelling humans. Anybody who comes anywhere near them, they're going to annihilate. They're going to take out. They're just going to kill them. They're not going to take prisoners. They're just going to rip them, rip them to shreds. Literally. Stay out. Use whatever, if you want to track people, track this cabal energy with the ground penetrating radar or whatever technology that we have that we don't have, so be it. But do not send people into the inner earth. Do not. No matter what you think you have that will keep them safe, you don't. You don't have it. Um, don't, send any, don't send any people in there. Thank you.